started in the basement Made it way above the top Now I'm in the spaceship And the spaceship She's spacious I'm gonna film a little getting ready with me and let you guys know how my normal morning routines go. Um, first, I make a coffee, so that's very important because if I don't have a coffee, I like don't have a personality. This is my bathroom and I'm wearing shorts right now because it's spring break and even though it's 18 degrees outside, like, it's fine. Shorts are fine. I drove home for spring break, but I didn't go anywhere. I was supposed to go to Florida, but that didn't work out. And then I was going to go to Atlanta, but that didn't work out either. So we're here, we're in Michigan. The snow sucks, but it is what it is. Let's just get right into it. All right, so. To start, I like to spray my face with this, which is facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And I just spray it all over my face because it hydrates your face and just gets it like, wakes you up in the morning. Next, I go in with my e.l.f. primer. Um, yeah, I got this at like CVS, I'm pretty sure but I just like squeeze it all over my face. It kind of just gives you like a nice smooth finish on your face. Kind of makes you look like you don't have any imperfections, even though we all do. I have two foundations, but I normally use the Neutrogena one. And then this one is the BB Magic Cream. I don't use this one. I've only used it like two or three times. And it's just kind of weird because it comes out like white if you guys can see I'm just like confused so i just like don't use this one you know just, like, screw it i don't really know what to do with the rest of it so then i'm just squeeze a little bit of this on my hand like this i got this new beauty blender and it comes in this little case not that i want to carry but i thought it was cute um and then i go down my neck a little bit because well right now especially i'm just super pale in the summer, I don't wear foundation at all, actually. I just wear, like, my powder sometimes. But, yeah, that's all. It actually fits in the egg, like, see what I mean? It's cute, okay? It's cute. This is the HD Setting Power Purdue Collection. I don't know. I got that at Nordstrom Rack. There's a lot of, like, good makeup brands at Nordstrom Rack that are way less expensive, which is great for me because... I'm just, I don't really like to spend a lot of money on makeup. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I've literally had this since I was in high school. So it's super old and all the colors are pretty much gone except for like the top. I don't use the top, but I just use these two and I go right in like with this, but I don't even know if this is right. Like I, who, who knows, who knows, but I'm doing it, so hopefully. Look good. That's it. 
And then you just let it sit on your face while I do my eye makeup. I use this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Um, Nordstrom Rack again. I don't know if you guys want to know these products, but if you do, I can post the link to all of them in the description. Let me know on this one if you want to, and then if I ever do another getting ready with me, then um, I'll leave all the product names and stuff below for you guys to like go shop for yourself. If you want. If you don't, and you're a guy and you don't wear makeup, then like I feel that too, so it's fine. But. I'm a girl, so I do this every day. So then I went with my Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. This is also very old. I've had this for a very long time as well, so. I don't really get new makeup too often, but I actually do want to start getting new makeup, like, soon, because I've had the same stuff for so long. I also need to clean my brushes. That's, like, a big thing. I have, for Christmas this year, I got this, like, Morphe brush kit, and I love it, but I don't like cleaning my brushes because it takes so much time and I'm like, ugh, I don't want to do that, you know? I kind of want Starbucks. I might go to Starbucks after this. I'll take you guys with me. I use a fluffy brush because it's the easiest to block with when you're using it on your island. Um, then I go in with Sexpresso, which is the darker shade, and I do that in my crease. I'm like, absolutely no, like, makeup professional so if I'm doing a lot of these steps right and like or I mean if I'm doing a lot of these steps wrong just ignore it this is just how I do my makeup so if it works for you cool if it doesn't I'm sorry I'm sure you already have your own makeup routine though so I'm sure you're fine you know you're doing a-okay and then I like blend it out and today I think I'm gonna use this brush even though this is definitely not what this is used for um, I'm just gonna like do that real quick. So, I go with like a flat brush like this and I go into the lightest shade and also again with the silk teddy because it gives it a little like shimmer thing. Unless like I'm going somewhere like crazy and like I want to do something fun, like I normally only go with like pinks and browns. Sometimes I'll do maroons if I'm going to like a party or something. But that's like very rare. I don't really go out much so like this is like as best as it's gonna get most days. So. Then I just blend, blend. Then I just blend my face together. Just once it's all been set, then blend all makeup together. And this can be challenging if you don't have good lighting because you can start to like unmatch your face and look a little bit orange, and no one wants to look like no blue. See, like honestly, I'm not too sure if yeah, I even look different right now. Probably not. Do I even look different when I started the video? <sighs> okay, so then I just brush up my eyebrows. This is another thing about my makeup routine that most people do a lot better than I do. Um, I don't know how to draw in my eyebrows. I don't know how to like conceal them properly. I'm just, I've never tried it, and I don't know what products to use or anything, so I just don't do it. I just. I should pop my eyebrows a little bit because they're looking a little bit crusty, but I can't do that in the viewfinder, so I'm gonna go off camera for like a half a second. Uh, moving on, we're gonna go in with my MAC Clear Gel. And this is like the only thing that I do to my eyebrows. So this is just to, after I brush them out, it's just to hold them in place for the day because we all know that our eyebrows like to just do whatever they want, you know? So. I go in next with my fluffiest brush in the kit, and I go with my MAC powder, which is A56 medium dark. I've had this forever. I This is the stuff that I use in the summer as my like foundation. It's the only thing that I put on my face because when you're tan, you don't really need makeup, in my opinion. This brush smells really good. Anyway, you're wondering. And I definitely blend it down my neck when I'm pale because 
Otherwise, my face is a different color than my neck. And I know that probably means that I should go for a lighter shade. But if I went for a lighter shade, I would look even paler than this, and then people would start asking me if I was sick. Um, I just apply this to my lid. Sometimes I like to curl my eyelashes. Um, today is not that day because I don't know where my eyelash curler is. So, we're just gonna go right in with the mascara and hope that it does my eyes justice. <sighs> wow, is that it? Okay. This is the look, this is all it. I need to put chapstick on, like really, really bad, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna wait until I go downstairs because I don't wanna walk all the way down there right now. Thank you guys for tuning into this video and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you haven't seen my first video, go over to my channel and please check that out. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye.